time. Excellent. It's been exactly 12 hours since we administered the drug. I trust your dreams were pleasant, big boss. What are you talking about? Now please drop the act. I know all about you, boss. Or would you prefer I called you... Naked Snake? Hmm. Sounds like you've got the right guy. Who are you? My name is Lieutenant Cunningham. Until four weeks ago, I was with the CIA. Cunningham? Fox Unit's interrogation specialist? Ah, so you have heard of me. I'm honored, Snake. And those guys who attacked me, they were Fox too? Yeah, although we'll leave it at that for now. What do you want from me? I'm retired from Fox. I'm guessing this isn't a social call or you wouldn't have brought the goons. Retired? Yeah, I suppose you are to the outside world. Don't worry. I'm not here to give you a new mission. I just want to ask you one simple question. Six years ago, as a member of Fox, you prevented a full-scale nuclear war. You were hailed as a true patriot, given the title of Big Boss by the President. And then you turned right around and quit the unit, threw aside your rank, your good name. Mysterious, don't you think? What did you see out there on your mission? What did you see in Grozny Grad? Where is the legacy? You mean the Philosopher's legacy? Yes. The secret cache of funds amassed by the Big Three during the Second World War. Where is it? If you're looking for the legacy, try the CIA. They're the ones who took it after the mission six years ago. <laughs> Simply apply the right type of pain to the right degree at just the right location. It's always been my policy for persuasion, and I found it to be quite effective. The CIA only recovered half of the legacy from the Soviets after Operation Snake Eater. And you know where the other half went. The CIA only got half? You can drop the act. You defeated the boss and returned alive, so you must know where the other half of the legacy is. And now, you're gonna tell me, Snake. I don't have a clue. That's too bad. Because I'd hate to have to continue persuading you like this, comrade. No matter. We have plenty of time. Sooner or later, I'm sure it'll all come back to you. Wait. This isn't an official mission, is it? What happened to Major Zero? Tell me the truth, Cunningham. This is an official Fox mission. For now.
Well, I'll be damned. It is Snake. Or should I say, Big Boss. Are you the real deal? You know me? Are you kidding? You're a legend in the Black Ops world. Black Ops. What's a hero like you doing in a place like this? Beats me. I'd like to find out myself. Where are we anyway? Near the equator from the looks of it. If I had to guess, I'd say South America. You got it, big boss. The San Geronimo Peninsula to be exact. Known to the locals as La Peninsula de los Muertos. The Peninsula of the Dead. It's off the coast of central Colombia, more or less directly south of Cuba. Never heard of it. You wouldn't have. It doesn't show up on any conventional maps. It's under Red Army control. The Red Army? In Colombia? In 1964, the Russians provided military aid to FARC, Colombia's biggest rebel faction. And in return, FARC gave them this land. 1964, the year of the virtuous mission. Two years prior, the Russians failed in their attempt to build an intermediate-range ballistic missile base in Cuba. Had they succeeded in deploying nuclear-equipped IRBMs inside Cuba, every major American city would have been within range. The Cuban Missile Crisis. Exactly. In the end, the Russians gave up on the idea of deploying missiles in Cuba. But rumor had it that they were looking for a new site, one where they could build a base in secret. And that place was the San Geronimo Peninsula. Yeah, well, not exactly. Apparently, the plans for this missile base were abandoned before it was built. Abandoned? Due to detente. Both the US and the Soviet Union are having trouble financing their enormous military budgets, and they can't afford to keep waging the Cold War like they did in the 60s. Last year, they began conducting the strategic arms limitation talks with the goal of limiting each country's number of ballistic missiles. Meaning no more need to build a new missile base. Right. But as you can see, they'd already completed part of the facility. We were sent in to investigate what was going on. Before we could do that, they ambushed us. They, the Fox unit. My team was wiped out in the blink of an eye. I fear I'm the only survivor. What's the Fox unit doing in a Soviet base? Not a clue. I'd have expected you to know more about it than me. I'm not with Fox anymore. I see. Anyway, that's all I've got. All right. Hold on. I'll get you out of there. It's no use. I've tried over and over. You need a special key to unlock the cell door. Right now, you've got to get out of here. Head five clicks southeast of the detention center, and you should reach a communications base. I need you to call in a rescue, if you can. Rescue? You should be able to make contact with the states using the satellite uplink, but the circuit will most likely be monitored. If only you could use some kind of encrypted transmission. Mm -hmm. Someone capable of receiving an encrypted protocol that they can't listen in on. Any ideas? I don't know if I'll be able to pull it off, but there's one thing I could try. Great. I'm counting on you, big boss. Call me Snake. It's been an honor, Snake. The name's Campbell. Roy Campbell. Good luck.